Getting word now from Fayetteville that uh, he is about to arrive on the scene. I think folks want video proof, and here we have it. <laughs> this search is finally over as Bobby Petrino has made his way into the room. And what a day we mentioned earlier for Bobby Petrino. He said goodbye to Atlanta less than seven hours ago. Now he's waving to Razorback fans, and it's an excited group. And now let's go live to the podium, and I believe it's probably going to be either the Chancellor White or the new athletic director, Jeff Long. Uh, thank you all for coming out, uh, being with us this evening. It's, uh, it's a foggy, foggy night outside, but absolutely crystal clear in here. What a reception. Coach, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Woo! You haven't seen anything. Uh, you'll recall that I indicated just a short time ago that I would be relying on Jeff Long to handle the search for the new head football coach for the University of Arkansas. I indicated that he would be playing an advisory role for me. Jeff, why don't you come on up and give me some advice? Well, certainly thank you for uh, everyone tonight joining us for this very uh, exciting uh, announcement and important announcement for the Razorback Nation. When our search began for our next football coach on Monday, November 26th, our objective was simply to find the best head football coach for the University of Arkansas. When I, while I did not express at the time publicly the characteristics I was seeking in our next coach, we certainly had several key attributes and qualities we were looking for. We wanted to find a proven coach that had an established track record of success on the field, a coach that could bring innovative ideas and philosophies to both sides of the football. We wanted to find a coach that had won conference championships and ideally had competed and succeeded in the BCS. But just as importantly, we wanted someone that had exhibited a strong commitment to discipline and accountability with their student athletes. A coach that stressed the fundamental responsibility of student athletes to achieve at the highest levels academically and athletically while maintaining exemplary citizenship. Today's, today's announcement is the culmination of a comprehensive search process was, which was intended to identify a leader for our football program that would serve our student athletes and fans with class and dignity. We were thorough in our search as we explored a diverse pool of candidates. And I want to express my appreciation to Dr. Sugg, Dr. White, the members of the Board of Trustees, and the Razorback Foundation Board as we progress through this search. The unwavering commitment of these people to helping us move forward with the best interests of the University of Arkansas at heart was crucial to the ultimate success of this search. I'm indebted to Coach Broyles for his counsel and encouragement and support through the process, his 50 years of service and dedication to the University of Arkansas and the Razorback program has resulted in an unrivaled collection of facilities and a rich tradition of success. Our new coach is committed to building on this foundation while enhancing our success on and off the field. In our discussions, he has pledged to work with me and our academic staff to help our student athletes increase their graduation rates and improve our APR numbers. On the football field, he has developed a reputation for offensive innovation. He has high scoring, he has an high scoring offensive attack that has the ability to strike from anywhere on the field and uh, at any time on the field. His teams have consistently ranked among the nation's leaders in total offense and scoring offense. The style of play his teams have demonstrated will invigorate our fans from the kickoff to the final gun. I'm confident that the Razorback fans will embrace this exciting brand of football. So without further delay, I'm pleased to introduce the 30th head football coach in the history of the Arkansas Razorbacks, 
Bobby Petrino. Bobby? Thank you very much. All right. All right. All right. Get this fixed up. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. It is a tremendous honor for me to be named the 30th head football coach here at the University of Arkansas, particularly on a night where we honored Coach Broyle for his 50 years of service. He's such a legend in the, in the profession uh, that, I, that I can't wait to develop a friendship with him. And I'm very much looking forward to that. I would like to thank Dr. Sugg, Chancellor White, Jeff Long for giving me this opportunity to come to the Razorback Nation. I'm certainly fired up about that. I'm looking forward to working with Jeff and uh, going forward in the, in the new opportunities that we have here. And I uh, can't wait for that. I'd like to introduce my family to you. Um, my wife, Becky. <laughs> my youngest son, Bobby. My youngest daughter, Katie, dropped her, dropped her cell phone. I also have two other children that, that could not make it here. My oldest daughter, Kelsey, who's attending school at the University of Louisville, and my oldest son, Nick, who is a, a freshman in college also. Um, they played a big part in the decision to come here, and, and it's certainly going to be exciting to make this our home. Today was a, a day of uh, decisions. It was difficult on one side and very easy on the other. You know, it was very difficult to, to leave Atlanta and what we had started there. It was difficult to leave the staff, the players, and the fans. The timing of it was probably the thing that, that made it the most difficult. I certainly would have liked to stay and, and finish the season and had that all work out, but circumstances presented that this is what we had to do today, and, and I couldn't be more happy about it. It was easy to come here to the University of Arkansas and become the head coach. 